Fraser, how are you doing? I'm Dale Fraser. Right? How are you doing, Dale? Oh, well, Dan, do you play golf, Fraser? No, my brother does not You don't play golf, right? So I'll not go with that angle then. I'll just get straight in here, right? Right. Do you believe you live on a globe? Yes. You do? Uh-huh. Can I ask you why? Eh, uh, science kind of proves that. No, this is the thing, but I should have said this before I started. I love science. Right. And I'm a natural science guy. Do you know what natural science is? Not exactly. No. Natural science is basically observing the world, you oh, know. Right, right. And you know, right. science like that should be based on empirical proof, which is testing, observing, repeating, mm-hmm. so that we come to understandings about reality and stuff like that. So you were saying you believed you lived on a globe. Yes, but I. Do you know why? Well, as uh, me- scientific measurement. Uh, we've been in space, we can actually observe that. You've been to space? I've not been to space, no. Do you think those images that you see are actual photographs? Yes. You do? Aye. Although they tell you on the NASA site they're not. Do they? Yes. Right, okay. Here's the thing. So you know they tell you that space is a vacuum? Mm-hmm. And that we live in an atmosphere, a positive pressure system? Yep. Mm-hmm. So I can say there's a negative pressure system and a positive pressure system. Now, in reality, Two opposing pressure systems, 100% of the time, require a solid separation. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that? Mm-hmm. Go yep. along with that, eh? Yep, because that's that's reality and that's what we observe. So why would you then believe it was different on a larger scale? What was it? In what sense? Well, they're telling you that there's a vacuum up there, right. and that we are in a pressurised system, and there's no solid barrier between the two of them. Ah, but is it not the atmosphere? <laughs> Well, the atmosphere is what we're living in right now. Yeah. So it's a gas, it's air, it's all these things. It's a different pressure so, so from what, a vacuum. So what, what, what are your suggestions up there then? I'm just, all I'm saying is pointing out the contradictions of what we test in, in reality. Mm-hmm. For me, if somebody claims there's another medium up there, there has to be a solid barrier. That's based on natural science. So I'll go to my next point. Could you give me, because you're mechanically minded, right? Oh, I know. Could you give me one hand that, right? <laughs> So they say that the Earth's 80% covered in water. Right. We know how water behaves. Yep. So how can we be living on a globe? Atmospheric pressure, I'm guessing here. <laughs> I don't know. But natural science again, can All you right. give me a practical example? Well, water is, the seas are fairly stable and level apart from the tides, yep. which the moon controls, so that's where it tides go up and down. I'm going to have to push you for proof if you see stuff like that. <laughs> well, I've, I've seen the tide go up and down. You've seen the tide go aye, up and down. But the only reason you think that it's the moon that's there is because that's what they told you. Yes, aye. aye. Right, so, but there's absolutely zero proof for that. There's so many contradictions against it. I'm not going to go into that just now because I don't want to keep you. I know you're, you're a busy man. But, you know, as I say to you at the start, natural science, real science is testable, observable to people. All claims must match that criteria or there's no reality. Can you produce one practical example of a body of water conforming to the exterior of a shape? I don't really understand that question. I'm not well, that. a globe is yeah. round yeah. and the water's conforming to the outside of uh, the, the sphere. Yeah, but I mean, it's because it's on such a large scale. I mean, it's If I took a shape, a square, a triangle, a pyramid, mm-hmm. and I tried to get a body of water to cling to it, ruin the outside of it, you know that's no reality. It's not about that. Right, so that's what I'm saying to you. Uh, no, if, no, if, no, if it's no testable, repeatable, observable, how is it reality? But surely our atmosphere keeps it in here. What do you mean? Well, just that. I, I mean, I don't know the science yet. I've not started yet. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, that's just what we're trying to... We're trying to kind of, you know, spark critical thought and common sense in people. Right, well, I'll look into this. Ah, no nice doubt about that. Aye. Aye. Definitely. And this is the other thing, you know. There is absolutely zero proof for a globe. Right. right. There's absolutely... You can actually see the coverage of the earth in places. Yeah, you can. Right, mate. Yeah. If you go up, doesn't matter how high you go, the horizon will be flat and parallel with your eyes, it'll be, it'll be eye level with you, it doesn't matter how high you go. Right, so explain to me then, how would you, right, say you started at point A, anywhere in the globe, and you went all the way around it, right. and you came back to the same place. Right. Right, so how, how's that work? Did you, you do that? I've played well, I've, my dad's done, he's in the Merson Navy, like he's done that. Eh? But this is, this is how easy so it is, right, and I'm going to show you right now. The the right, right now I'm in the UK, right, right and I'm going to go around the world, you watch it, it's right there. In Eve, that's happening between 3 and 12 miles, right? Now, you can see right fine, I'm, well, well, the ship's going over the horizon at, at 3 to 12 miles, but here's the problem. I can see from left to right up to 100 miles unobstructed in my view. Absolutely no curvature there. So do you not think it's a wee bit of contradiction? If you see a ship going over the curve that way, mm-hmm. at 12 miles, we'll say again the maximum, but you can see 80 to 100 miles left to right with absolutely no zero curvature. That would tell me that you lived on a cylinder. Living a cylinder, is that where we're coming? Well, you would have to be. If, if things are curving that way, but no this way, you'd have to be living on a cylinder. Right. 
So right. what happens at the edge of the end of the city? Uh, well, I'm just saying hypothetically. Right, right. It would have to be if right. you go with what they're saying, because there's so many contradictions, mm -hmm. as I've just pointed out. Well, you can't have one of our curvature should be going every direction. Please all look into this. Nice one, man. Interesting. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers. Okay, okay.